right, everybody. Just trying something else a little different. So I have a palette here and I have um, just over here my palette. Um, but I don't think you can see it exactly. Maybe I need to fix that for some reason. It doesn't show. Joan. I'm tr just trying out something a little different. Um, Bear with me for a minute here while I figure this out. Um, settings. Camera. Apply. Can you see that a little easier now? Hey Sherry! I um, just want to see about increasing my palette. That's kind of confusing though. But... I just want to be able to show you my palette and for some reason what I see on um, YouTube isn't what I'm seeing on my program which is very strange because I'm seeing a whole lot more than what you're seeing brightness. I'm going to bring this down. Let's see if that makes any difference. That's oh, a little better. No oh, thanks. <laughs> I, I, I love her expression. She's very expressive. And I love faces that are show different expressions, emotion, that type of thing. She has a great face for that. Um, what do you think of this? I'll be doing... Maybe if I... Let's see... Um, I'm just trying to get the right setup for you guys. So, um, you're able to, oop. See my... That's Wendy, she's so cool, yeah. <laughs> so today, 
I'm going to leave it like this. You can let me know what you think and anyone in the uh, replay or later on. Give me some ideas of what you want to see. Is this more distracting having this little box up here? Well, that's this side, I guess. There. <laughs> or do you like it the way it was before? Now, I could move that little um, in the right down here, the um, my logo type of thing. That doesn't have to be there. Um, and I'm not, uh, this isn't through StreamYard. So what I've done is I've picked a few more flowers from my garden. These are the pretty well the end of what's going to bloom. I do have some dahlias, but they aren't even doing well because we have had no rain to speak of. Just a sprinkle here and there. And everything is absolutely parched. Even the trees are wilting, and that's bad. So hopefully um, we get some rain this week or we're going to have some dead trees in the spring. Uh, doesn't bother you? Looks good to me. Awesome. So I just thought I can even take pictures of my flowers and then have another um, square over here um, with the flowers if you want to if you wanted to um, have some kind of <clears throat> reference photo also, let me know what you guys like. So I picked some, these are asters, they're fall asters, I love these. And this one is a very short growing plant and they bloom for quite a while. And it's always right around September they start blooming. You can also get different uh, colors, a real deep purple, there's a pink one, there's a white one. Um, and then these have been blooming, I kid you not, all summer from June right through. It's still blooming. Uh, I don't know what these are called, but they kind of have a really cool little fuzzy uh, stamen standing up above the flower. And... Uh, they're kind of airy looking on the plant because the plant has all these larger uh, leaves on the bottom and then these kind of stick up above it like they're dancing in the wind. They're quite pretty. And then a sedum. Now these are the um, fall sedums. I don't remember what this one's called. It's a variegated one and it gets even darker than this. It's a really pretty pink gets almost burgundy color and the leaves are a nice soft uh, almost got a blue tinge to them and then the white edges and they're all in bloom right now so I thought we could uh, make some of these so uh, maybe something like that with I don't know maybe that there and then this here and maybe a few of these over here so or we'll just do it this way too so I'm just gonna lay this down in front so you can uh, draw along if you want so I'm gonna uh, draw it in the way I see it So we have, uh, this stem is kind of in the way, so this is the main focal that's standing up front. So uh, I'm just going to look at this, the size of it, and how does it relate to the other part of this? Is it the same size as this or this? So that's how you start off. So I'm going to... Uh, just draw this here, right here, 
And then I'm just seeing it a little different than you would be seeing it because I'm viewing it in a different way. So mine goes like that. And then I see this thick stem comes down. And then there's this other one comes across. It has a prickly. And then I'm seeing the back side of this one. And it comes like this, and then I see the point, and it comes around, and then I see some more of this, and then it kind of goes down in between there. And then that comes like that, and then there's another one that I'm seeing. Now I might not get the whole thing in here because it does kind of hide lower than the bottom of this stem. So I'll just draw what I think will show. It could go off the page. Sometimes that's really nice looking in uh, journals, is when they go off the page. So it kind of laps over here, and then kind of, I see the back of it again. It's down. And then it's like that. And then there's a little one under there I see. Uh, I don't see the end of it though. And then this one here is kind of cupped like this. And then I'm seeing the underneath of it and it's quite cupped like that. But I'm not seeing the inside of it. And from there I'm seeing stem come up and it's thinner like that and then from here I'm seeing a thicker stem it comes up to about there I guess and then I'm seeing another leaf and this one's um, actually that should be a lower because it's almost touching This, the tip of this one. So this is what you have to look at. How do they relate to each other? So when you're drawing it, you're looking around how it size-wise, shape-wise, and is it touching anything else? And that's how you um, vary the size, width, and everything to make it look the way it should. So we have a little stem coming up here. I'm just seeing a little bit. So I see three little branches and then there's these tiny little leaves on them. It's cute. And then I have a bunch of little stems I'm seeing. From there. And then I see all these little cups. And there's a flower. So there are all these little cups that I can put in here like this. So just a U shape will be good enough and you want to overlap stuff when you're doing this part so they have fuzzies on the top that's the stamens so get your initial ones in that you see full on and then you can just hide a few uh, in between so you, you see a lot more of this in there. So you'll see all those fuzzies. Basically. That. 
Uh, is it dark for you? Do you want me to lighten it? Sometimes you can lighten it a little bit. Exposure. Uh, here, here. That. There. Yes, a bit more light would be good. There you go. Hi, Devin. Okay, so then let's see. This one I see behind now. I see a bunch of stems. So I can put more stems in. I see some more leaves. Um, so it depends on how how uh, much detail work do you want to put into this. So I see another leaf in here and it kind of crosses over there like that. And some more stems I'm seeing. And then lots of fuzzies. Um, some little little tiny leaf around those some of those petals so I'm not gonna put a whole bunch just a few of these uh, cup things that's the flower that I'm seeing uh, a lot of and then we can just do a bunch of fuzzies around Like that. And then there's this one, and I'm seeing a leaf like that. I'm seeing one under, and then a little bit of leaf, and then I see some little tinier branches in here. I can put those in, and then more of the flowers. So I'm just making U shapes and then we'll put the stamens on top of there. Okay, so then the fuzzies go in here like that. Now you can do it as thick or not. It's up to you. I'm, there was another one I'm seeing behind there, but I'm not going to bother with that. Now what I do want is to, um, well, I guess I could do that with paint. I'm thinking of the, uh, I'm just going to put a few veins in where I see them. So there's this one here. They're really thick. Okay, that one's not too bad. Um, I hope I didn't send, oh, okay, you're talking to each other. Okay, so then we have these asters. I think I'll put these asters on this side, kind of like this. Maybe on the bottom part. I'm going to just put it over here. So I see one main branch coming up. And then the flower branches alternate. And they're kind of all over the place. They go around the um, main branch in different directions. So we can, I'm just going to make the main branch Thicken it as you go down to the bottom. And then they're not all the same size, so I'm going to put some from the behind, some from in front, 
Some are a little longer than others, but they alternate. Okay. Uh, and they kind of they don't uh, get taller they kind of stay flat on the top surface so it's almost like they're growing out to catch the sun and then you see all these shoots off of that one and those shoots are the flower tops so you can overlap your branches and there's quite a few actually so it's just not two there's quite a few depending on how many you want to put in there's quite a few of them I'm going to put some over here and they branch off into more sections like that Um, this one's these ones down here are more or less leaves so then we can right on the tops is where all of the um, buds are but the stems are kind of leafy they have these tiny little leaves going down the stems and wherever they um, come from the where they attach to the main stem there's a, a a little bit of a bigger leaf and I'm going to put those in because that's kind of a thing that they do let's see that one that one some are bigger some are smaller this one here like that a little bit longer and then let's see um, then your main I'm seeing the underneath of these I'm not seeing the tops so I'm just gonna put that U shape in again and I'm not going to do all of them the same uh, some are buds some are um, full flowers so let's just I want some overlapping of stuff too. Okay, and then we can also put some buds in. So the, the buds are kind of the same shape, but they just haven't opened yet. And they're mainly on the top part of the plant. Here. Some are smaller than others. Let's put a few leaves into maybe a bigger one there. Sherry. I like how you have the insert of your palette cap. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I was wondering whether it was a distraction or a plus. <laughs> I found out I can use my webcam and my camera through this program on my comp on my laptop, which is awesome. I can even put a photo in. So I'm happy about that because I've been wanting to do that and I thought I had to get a switch box and another camera and I thought, nope, I'm not spending that kind of money. And then I found out I can use my old webcam. So how great is that? All right, so uh, we have, I'm just going to put a little bit of, just a, lines in I guess to show where the the main flowers that are open are
and I'm seeing the backs, more of the backs. They look like fuzzy little heads. <laughs> so we'll put some of those in. Um, just to show the color. Uh, so I'm not seeing the insides of them, but that's okay. So depending on how many we want, we'll see. Okay, so there's that, and then we can put some of these in. So maybe we'll stick one here, since it's down here. And I'm just seeing your skinny little stems. They're very long stems, and then you kind of have the green, I don't know what they're called, but they're, they're fuzzy too. They're kind of hairy, and then they have these little stamens standing up on the top of the flower. Okay, so we'll put one in here. I'm just going to follow the stem, and then we have the, is it the calyx? I don't know. Might be. So that's green in there, and then those pretty little burgundy petals that kind of sit down, and then those little stamens that sit on top, like that. And let's see, we'll put one in here. Maybe down in here. I'm just going to go through like that. And this, they wilt very quickly when you pick them. These are fantastic for um, using in your um, embossing press fold machine because the colors are. Uh, really pretty when they come out. They're very much like um, purpley blue. You would think they would be red, but they're not. We'll have to do that again, too. That was fun. Okay, like that. And then, see how they have the long leaves? So, how about we just put uh, a few of those in. So. I'm just going to go through here. Decide what we want to do there. And then just some really long, slender leaves, it looks like. So They're kind of wilting. They don't last very long. So let's put some wilted ones in here. Like that. And then we'll see. Yeah, they um, also uh, are across from each other. So these are the things you have to look at when you're doing this type of thing. So we'll just put that one in there and maybe hmm, yeah, I don't yeah, I don't think we need too many. Okay, so let's put that over there. And that's our composition. So are you able to see everything okay? Have my bucket of water beside me. So right now I think we'll do the we'll work from the left to the right just so I don't get my hand in everything because yeah that's what I do. <laughs> and I am going to do you want me to put it like this so you can see it? Let's see where did I put my my, my brushes out. Perfect. Uh, 
All right. So let's put in the lightest color first. So that would be the purple here. So I have, let's see, I have uh, dioxazine purple here. Um, I'm going to get a baby wipe. And I'm going to spray my palette. I didn't spray it. And I'm also going to clean this up. I want a fresh palette because I want these purples to be um, true, not muddied. Now some people like to use their um, palette colors, leftovers. I do sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, if I find that uh, the colors are going to be good, but not all the time. Okay, so did I move it? Let's see. I have a bit of a lag. I think that's good. All right. So I have some dioxazine purple. Very, very strong, strong color. I want lots of water to start off <clears throat> doing these. So let's test this. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Okay, so I am just going to take the tip of my brush and just put some of those colors on there and we will go in and add a little bit of darker colors also but I want the initial ones in um, now I'm viewing it differently than what you're seeing it so you may see uh, maybe the centers a little more than what I'm seeing I don't see the centers but I do see a lot of basically the side profile of the flowers. So there's a little bit of foreshortening going on in here. Now I have moved the flower so I do see uh, one there so I could put that one in so let's do that. Let's make this one uh, a little bit more it's like it's bent. So I'm, I'm going to see a little bit of the color. Okay, and one in here. So when you're foreshortening, it, um, a flower because you're viewing it on the side your center part of the flower the petals will be shorter and then your outer petals on the sides will be longer okay so let's add a little bit more color to that and now we can just dab just a little bit of that darker dioxazine purple here and there. Just to give a little bit of um, variance in what you're seeing as far as overlapping and stuff. I'm not um, being accurate as far as taking a look at each individual petal. This is just a quick uh, rendition of, uh, of my flowers in my garden. OK, 
Okay. I do see the one there, so I'm going to take some yellow. It's fairly bright yellow. And this one here, I'm just going to put some of that yellow in there. Doesn't have to be a lot. Um, I think that's the only one I see. So the green is really a beautiful, um, I would say it's a permanent sap green. It's very, very, almost Kelly green, I guess you could say. It's quite, it's almost on the dark side. So we could add, actually add a little bit to darken it, just a smidgen of red. So if you put red in with your green, it'll darken it more into a olive color. And you can play with it to get the right color. So now we want to put in all of these stems, and the stem um, is pretty well the same as the leaves. Now I'm not too worried about um, if I got little sharp points because there's a whole bunch of these tiny little stems. So put those in. And if I um, don't go on all of the lines, that's fine. I can take my eraser and erase those after I'm done. Very spiky looking. Just using the very tip of my brush. Put more in too if you decide you want more. Um, I think I'm going to put another one there. Bring this one up a little bit like that. Hey Zandra! And then I'm looking at the little um, pods underneath these. They're kind of um, spiky looking. So I'm just going to do them in the same color of green. And then maybe add a little bit of a darker green here and there. Or I could use uh, pen work. Maybe pen work would probably be a little better. I might do a little bit of shading and then pen work. Just have fun with it. Okay, there we got them all. Some of them have quite a few buds starting too, so you could put those in. I'm going to add some more as well. Show that there's lots of blossoms to come. OK, 
Okay, so then the, the uh, leaves, I'm gonna add a little bit more, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of green um, appetite, genuine to this, just a smidge, just to darken it a little bit more. And I'm gonna use that for the, the leaves. So the leaves are a little bit on the long side. There's quite a few, and as you get um, up the stem a little bit more, they get smaller. So you just take your tip of your brush and just press down and then release, and it'll give you an, a nice little leaf look. Do some flat on the stem too because they aren't just side by side they're they're around the whole stem they're very um, leafy small leaves go around and it, they're even um, close to the flowers that they're standing upward though up here so just flick it on the ends here it's quite a few so no one's gonna count to see if you've got the right amount <laughs> Just have fun with it. You can change up a little darker or a little lighter. They do have a lot though. Lots of leaves. Some are a little bit bigger than others. They are neat looking. Maybe make a few more in here. Like that. Okay, what else do I see? I see a little bit of really pale, pale mauve. Just on some of the tops here, like this. Let's put a few, just little dabs along the, some of the dots. It just indicates flowers yet to come. But they're very pale. So you don't want a lot of color. Just a few here and there. And...
just shows that there's a whole bunch more to come. Like that. Uh, Devin, I'll let you know. Well, thanks for coming, Devin. Have a good night. All right, so we're done that one for now. Let's do this guy. Okay. So it's a very pale, pale green. So almost a little bit of yellow in there. So I'm going to put a lot of water and a little more uh, yellow than green and I'm just going to do these they're all fairly light in color almost mm, could almost put a little bit of blue in there or thalo green maybe let's see no more yellow no more water I want it fairly light let's see And this will dry lighter. You gotta remember that too. Okay, and then this part. Very light. Oh, you're. I'm staying Z usually. Okay. Okay, and then kind of. A, I think I need a little bit more blue. Hmm. Or maybe this one. A little bit more on the bluey side. And now I'm going to do the bigger leaves. And I'm going to paint, make some um, patterns my brush. I'm leaving the outer edges of them a little just white for now and then I'll go in once they're dry and paint them a very pale pale yellowy green. Even paler than what I had. A little bit darker so I can go in as long as it's wet you can still go in with your paint the um, veins are a little bit lighter dark to see a little bit on the edge that this one like 
There's a little bit of white on these tiny ones too. Don't fill them all in. And then the back of this one is a little bit on the paler side because you're seeing it from behind. Like that. And this one also a little paler underneath. darker inside. Like that. Um, I think I got them all. I'll just put a few more in here where the stems would be. Be a little bit different. It's a little darker up in here, so I'm just gonna dab right in here where they're clustered. All these. Um, flower heads. It's a little leaf there. That was a leaf. So we're going to add the pink in there. All right. Now I'm going to dry that because I'm going to use some yellow now. Fairly watered down. Now let's see, use a little bit of a cleaner yellow, softer, and I'm just just across the bottom of these. It's a little bit of yellow, so I just want to add a little bit of that because I'm viewing it from the side, so I'm not really seeing the top of them and underneath the little stamens it's kind of yellow doesn't have to be a lot just a little bit like that 
Okay. Now, I'm going to make that really watered down. And I'm just going to go around the edges of these leaves with this yellow color. You can go over your green. You don't have to be too precise as, as uh, far as painting in between the greens. Just go over top. They're a little bit on the yellowy side. They're not white. Forget the little ones too, where you made the leaves. Okay, I think I got them all. Okay. Um, now I can take a little, little bit of, uh, let's see. I'm going to take a little bit of perline green, just a bit. It's kind of a bluey green. Oops, it's just got purple in it. And just in sections, uh, there it's kind of a bluish color. So I'm just going to go over some of this green. I'm not going to necessarily um, paint the whole thing, but sections of it where it would be a little darker. Like in here. And a little bit in here at the bottom and right in here it's a little bit darker huh. and you can even use it for Putting a little bit of the uh, shadowed areas in. So some of these stems would have just the slightest bit of shadow on them. So you can go ahead and throw some of that in there. might be darker in there. So you're varying the um, shadows as far as the color. This one, don't forget this one. Down there. That. How's the picture looking? It's hard to tell. I only see a little tiny square. <laughs> Is it... Uh, It looks fairly
All right. So now we want to put those little tiny, a very pretty pink. So let's put mm, alizarin crimson and uh, water down. Well, that one's not alizarin crimson. What is that? Oh, this is Quinn Coral by Daniel Smith. It's a very pretty color. So let's put just a little bit of dabs on the tops. Of these. Use the very smallest brush you got. You want a nice point. They have these fuzzy little stamens on top. I'm just seeing the side of, of this bunch of uh, flowers, so I'm not seeing um, from the top view, so I only see the pink on the edge or the top part of this. Just show that they're a little bit on the spiky side. Put a few oddballs in there. And then a little bit darker. Just a smidge, we'll see. Here and there, while it's still wet. They're not all the same, so don't paint them all, but just put a few uh, dots here and there. Just gives it depth when you do that. Devin. All right, so I think that's it for that one. So these guys, very dark, dark purple, um, almost, mm, almost in the purple, but on the red side. So I would say it's almost this color. So. Um, Holbein Bright Violet. Um, I'm going to put some red with it though. It's a very dark, very dark, so maybe some violet with that, but more red. I'm going to have to play with it. I'm going to put um, Quinn Magenta in there. And a little bit more purple. Maybe some blue. Let's see. Now that turns it more purple. I think I need red. Just keep adding until you find the right color. I want it dark though. Very, very dark. Okay. So it's almost black it's so dark that would be good but I want it more very dark
don't want to paint the whole thing on the around the bottom because that, those are green but I do want these to be fairly dark they're kind of spiky looking too like that Trying to keep them. Okay, and then their their um, stems are about the same as the other ones. Maybe a little darker. Let's see, a little bit thicker paint. Okay, and the um, brackets or whatever they're called, they're they're darker at the top and then they kind of yellow as they go to the center where the stem meets them. So let's just do a few of these. Might ha we might need to get a little bit of a darker green, we'll see. You could actually use gouache for this too, if you want, if you um, need to go over some of that pink. Maybe you did too many pink areas. Gouache works great with watercolor. So let's take a little bit of that lighter green that we had up here and we'll just Put that on the bottom. Oh, it's kind of filling in. So I might have to take a... damp brush and then see if I can remove some. Yep. So just removed a little bit on the very bottom here. You could also take a uh, cloth and do that. that. Okay, and then let's get that a dry. Okay, Devin, thanks for coming. just have to do the two leaves here. And they were fairly dark. And then a little bit lighter on the top.
and I'm just going to add a little bit in the center rib vein like that get a little bit more of this here I think I'm going to make this a little darker like that more where it should be okay oh am I stopped am I frozen guys Hello? Frozen? Oh, shoot. I don't know what to do because I'm not on StreamYard. Can you hear me? What to do? Because it says I've... Uh, strengths is good, it says. Darn. Can you guys hear me? You're frozen. I know. Yes. I'm not in stream. That's weird, eh? So what do I do? <laughs> do I wait? Do I refresh? I'm not sure what I sh can do. We hear you, but the screen is frozen. That's so weird. I don't know. Let's see. I don't think my other stream is... No, my program isn't frozen. It's um hmm. what to do. Okay guys, I am going to <laughs> Oh, I hate this. Because I wanted to use the picture of picture because I can't use it in StreamYard. I was hoping that this would work. This sucks. So I'm going to try and refresh and see what happens. So if I don't, if it ends the stream and I don't come back, I will start a new one in StreamYard. Yeah, but it costs $50 a month, and I'm not going to pay 50 bucks a month <laughs> when I have that program. Oh. Um, okay, here it goes. 
Fingers crossed. My back. And it's still frozen. What the heck is going on? Pause. Live. For some reason it's frozen. I can't get out of it. So I'm going to have to end this stream and finish in um, StreamYard because this is ridiculous. Sorry.